everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for those of you who don't know, I like to eat and I'm sure that you all like to eat too. So on this episode, I'm really going to just share with you some of my favorite treats and snacks that I like to make all the time. And for those of you who don't know, I come from pageant land. Yes, let me go ahead and put on my crown for you so you can see. Yes, yes. But really, I come from pageant land and I also come from dance land. So with that being said, it's really, really important for me to eat healthy during certain moments in my life when I'm getting ready for a competition or whether I'm just getting ready for any kind of thing that I'm doing, an audition or whatever you call it. So I'm just sharing with you some of my really quick snacks. I'll be sharing a lot of other meals that I have because I'm pretty much always trying to eat healthy. Because when I'm on stage, I'm literally walking out in front of everyone in a bikini. <laughs> your dad your uncle basically everyone your dog scruffy if your dog scruffles scruffles i don't even know if that's a good name scruffles or polly or whatever you would name a dog in the year 2021 i'm walking out in stage in front of that although i don't know why a dog would be necessarily at a pageant that's just kind of different um with that being said I have to make sure that I'm in tip top shape and it's just really important. So here's some of my favorite top three go-to snacks when I'm on the go, whether I'm just in the car, normally in the morning, some things like that. So I hope you enjoy. All right, so I'm starting you guys off with something very simple here. We're just gonna slice up some apples really nicely, but what really does it here is the cashew butter. So this cashew butter is my favorite. It's from Julie's, and I think you guys should really just try different nut butters instead of peanut butter. Um, it's very, very low in calories, which is why I like it. Lower than peanut butter, 190 per two tablespoons of it. So I go ahead, take off the top, and I'm gonna go ahead and get two tablespoons, but the thing is, um, you have to really mix it well. Normally I take a knife, but this time I just have the spoon. You have to mix it well because the oil will sit a little bit at the top. But when I tell you this is the best, it gives you that sugar if you need the sugar craving like myself. It's just so good. So it's once again the cinnamon vanilla bean um, nut butter and it's so yummy. So like I said, go ahead, it's very simple, cut up apples, eat this and enjoy. Also try it with celery sticks. So now we have the homemade granola mix. So the thing that I love about this is that you can really pretty much throw in anything that you like here. Um, it's really up to you, but it's a no-bake granola. So I like the pumpkin seed and flax granola mix by Nature's Path. I go ahead and add in already pre-sliced almonds because it's just so much easier to get them pre-sliced. I go ahead and add in the pumpkin seeds. This is so good for nutrients inside of here, and it's really a good low fat option and lastly of course I have to add in the blueberries that help with the antioxidants inside of it and it gives you that nice sweet taste to it so this is another simple treat that I love to have all the time okay so here we are at our last snack and sometimes I eat this for breakfast it's a yogurt parfait it's really really good especially if you just want a light lunch so I'm gonna go ahead and start by cutting up all of these strawberries now with this you can put really any type of fruit that you like inside of it you can once again put raspberries blackberries if that's what you prefer but i like to use strawberries because they're really a good source of nutrients and then i also use pre-cut mangoes so i start with the solids first which is the granola and i'm going to go ahead and pile on the mangoes and the strawberries and then lastly i'm going to top it with these blueberries which are really really nutritious and help to add that last hint of sweetness if that's what you like 
After that, I'm going to go ahead and start to add in some Greek yogurt. So Greek yogurt is really good because it gives you a lot of protein in comparison to regular yogurt, and it has a lot of calcium and vitamin D. So that's why I like to use this. Sometimes I flavor it with the vanilla inside of it, and it's just a really, really healthier alternative. So I go ahead and put like a dollop or two on top of it, and then I'm going to go ahead and finish it up by adding some honey on top of this, and that's really going to help piece everything together. So I try my best to use local honey. So that's the Georgia honey that we have here. And I drizzle it on top of it. Last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and add some chia seeds. Chia seeds are so helpful. They have those omega-3s inside of it and you don't even notice that they're there. So I hope you guys like what I just made and definitely try it on your own because it's definitely delicious. So I hope you guys liked all of those videos and I really hope that you just learned that there's many different ways that you can make eating healthy fun. I definitely have some more videos that I'm going to link below that will show you just some other recipes and smoothies that I like to do. And I hope you guys just make sure to definitely subscribe also down below so you can get a notification and hit that bell when I post something new. So make sure to always check it out and if you have any questions or any recommendations, don't be afraid to message back. Thanks.